Oh, I just love it. That's beautiful. So I guess we got um, into here all at once. But it couldn't come soon enough. But I wish I could stick around to uh, enjoy it all, but poor old me, I guess I've just got to go to Victoria and hunt Sambity, but um, the adventure continues. And the good times will be natural and nice and cold and fresh. Happy days. Oh man, I just spent a good 45 minutes bloody looking for this trail camera of mine and, and I gave up. So I'm walking out and what's this on the ground? Fallen over at some stage. That's a great find. That's good. Well, looks like there's some moisture inside it. This must be, might be this camera's last hurrah perhaps, but let's just hope it's got the goods on it. Well, that just got me fired up. I mean, there's no monster stags, but there's been quite a few stags that were passing through this way over the warm months of the year. Just following tracks now. And these tracks are bigger, there's stags. And this is the freshest rubble I've seen in a while. Check it. It's still bloody still bloody green and wet. Oh, interesting. smell me. They've been holding their ground for about 15 minutes, not moving. And they're too far up. And I've got half an hour left to daylight. And about three and a half kilometers to cover on my way home, so tomorrow job. Just got honked. It's like thorn bushy stuff, you can't get through it too easy. Let's see if I can get a look at them for you. gonna die. I'm oh, sorry little hind. Me, 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 me. Chill, 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 chill. Oh fucking perfect. Get that puppy out of things. Where are you?
Good. That's great. Just for any newbies, it's really um, it's really easy sometimes to think you know where you're heading to go get your animal, especially if it's a cross gully thing. But when you get there, it's a whole different world, and it does not look like what you just aimed at quite often. So what I always try and do is, I know my bull's shot up there, and she's down underneath the scrub there now, but I'm going to pick a point where I can walk to. I'm going to pick this tree, that plump tree there. That's it, the big one in the middle. And I'm going to walk to that, and then I'll know if I go straight up from there. Just a marker, it's just a waypoint. And some tips from Froth Day. Oh, nice and small actually. Oh, good. Oh, that's a, oh, oh yes. Adolescent deer. Oh, beautiful. Oh, she'll taste so good. Soaked as per usual. And if you're after venison, I honestly think you would struggle, seriously struggle, to find nicer venison than a nice adolescent samba deer. And I know it's subjective, I know it's up to each person. There's so many different species, and I've probably heard every single species referred to as someone's favourite venison. But um, just in terms of the kind of animal you want to get, an animal of this age. Like, cause it's not like I've got a lack of meat here. Look, again, she's big enough, but she's probably about 40% of the size of what a hind gets to. Um, but still, it's plenty of venison, beautiful and tender. Oh, I just love handed samba deer, you know, and just really got into the groove this morning, just nice and chilled, and, and she was just there, and it's not often the samba, but it's nice to actually see a bullet go in and her do the roll. It's the humane way, I just like it that when they're, they're not expecting it and they're not distressed or highly alert, they don't run too far. Nah, it's really nice. God, she's a beautiful animal. She really is. I never get over their ears. I love their ears. I love that little white trimming to them too, because sometimes that's what you see. Just if you're coming at them from behind or if they're just in the distance. I mean, obviously you see a silhouette with ears up, but just that nice little white trimming, it's cool. Thank you. Now, here's the problem, like, 9.30, and I've stuffed around here a bit, but um, I don't want this to be the end of my hunt because I've actually just found myself in the most beautiful territory. I love it. I'm thinking about knocking her hind quarter off, straps, and I'm gonna just whittle a bit off from her neck and her shoulders, um, bag it up, stash it back at the trailhead where I started, and then get back into it. That's what my plan is. Um, just because, I don't know, I want to enjoy the day and and there's some stag sign up there, just quietly and yeah, so that's my plan. Thank you, Sam Badir. My goodness, that, the good times, they have been natural. Now, I've got a really important shout out to just make. Um, I don't have permission to give this guy's full name but um you might know um if you're on the australian hunting net forum or if you're on youtube you probably come across a fella named zoobtech the zoobtech channel and um just the other day in the mail i i received this this wonderful hunting knife and not just a hunting knife but look at the the sheath that it comes in etched with my name and everything now look that's so zoobtech sent that to me and i'm i don't know i'm just I'm taken aback by that level of generosity. Um, bro, I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much for just being so thoughtful and sending me this wonderful gift. Um, it's about to be blooded for the first time. It's, um, and what a better animal to do it, you know? This is going to feed a lot of people, man. And have a look at that. So this just excellent blade. What is that? It's Swibbo. Vittorinox blade there. Swibbo knives. Just 
common sense, easy to handle, just an ideal hunting knife, you know, fantastic for butchery, but more the point. Look at this fantastic scabbard that's come. Now, I've, I've seen this forum member before, I think, Kawasako, I think that's your name, mate, but um, I'm going to give you a proper shout out and um, promote your work as soon as I've come back to town and can put this in the video. But, I don't know, I've, I've already dinged it a bit because it's been carrying the bush, but look at that wonderful, wonderful leather work in there and seamless stitching. Like, I'm... I'm just so stoked guys, thank you so much, it's just so generous, I, um, I can't thank you enough. Super Tech brother, legend, thank you. damage than I realized. Damn it. A lot of bullet damage on that side. Wow, that was close. So what I've done is it's mostly skinned out. It's entirely skinned out, I should say. So the other shoulder had no bullet damage really at all. So what I did is I took flay the skin off, and now I've got the whole whole right shoulder, which is fantastic. I'm stoked with that. Loaded up, got all the extra on the back there, and I don't know, I've actually found myself in this kind of perfect balance, you know. This is where these safari slings really come into their own a bit too, for the carry out, I can just, you know, do the boogie on my way out, that's the, that's the important thing, eh? That didn't take too long, it was only about half an hour walk, which is good, so what I'm going to do is this tree here. Can you see that? No, you can't see shit. I'm gonna get the legs up into that tree as well as the bag and um, yeah I'm gonna go for another walk I'm gonna keep enjoying my day If that was aligned, I'd just shoot another one. If it was a big stag, obviously I'd shoot him, but 
Ha! Ah, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Never get used to it. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Hello. Oh, what a good day. Good to be back. And it looks like there's a burn off. Very good. Yeah. 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 